good morning dear friends uh, today's lecture i am going to explain about the various dynamics of electrical vehicle so let me share my presentation so that you can understand whatever i am going to say i hope uh, you can see my screen my screen so in this today's topic is uh, dynamics of electrical vehicle so in this dynamics before that we just let me summarize what are the things i have covered in the last couple of days in importance history and development of electrical vehicle simulation of buck and boost converter for electric vehicle understood the concept of regenerative braking and hybrid electric vehicle general block diagram of electrical vehicle and end up with we end up with elect different configuration in electrical vehicle so before i am going to explain this uh, dynamics of electrical vehicle as we know that newton second law of motion force is nothing but mass in the acceleration so if this force is more acceleration will be automatically more if the force is less um, uh, acceleration will be less we know mass is in kilogram force is in newton meter acceleration is meter per second square so about this forces in electrical vehicle normal cases in electrical vehicle more forces will attack together i will tell you what are all the forces will be there but before that we should know all forces will attack together combinedly if the net force acting on it motor or uh, acting on the vehicle is zero the vehicle will not move that means net force means nothing but opposite force sum of opposite force plus aiding force so this force which is uh, moving the vehicle uh, move forward is called as tractive force that is called it will support the acceleration but other forces like Uh, resistance in the road, road rolling resistance then uh, gra gravity then air opposing air flowing through the body so these are all the forces it will the opposite force it will uh, it will resist the force propulsion force so this the propulsion force which will provide the force to move forward vehicle move forward at the same time all other opposing force which will oppose the vehicle resist the force resist the vehicle to move forward so if these two forces are same automatically net force acting on the body is zero so that what will happen acceleration it will not happen so if we in this if we are designing on propulsion this propulsion has to overcome all the resistive force and allow the vehicle to capable to move the vehicle to move forward that is called as tractive force so tractive force which will assist the movements of electrical vehicle so normally acceleration of the electrical vehicle with any vehicle not only electrical vehicle vehicle depends upon power delivered by the propulsion unit for power delivered by the propulsion unit if the power if delivered by the propulsion unit is less automatically acceleration will rest less then road condition so the rolling resistance i will tell you what is the rolling resistance and all in the next forthcoming lecture road condition is not good automatically power delivered by this propulsion unit it will not uh, it will not provide a good acceleration then aerodynamics of the vehicle opposing aerodynamic force towards this movement of uh, electrical vehicle that will also uh, affect this acceleration then composite mass of the electrical vehicle if the mass is more automatically force which is moving the vehicle acceleration acceleration will be reduced so that these are all the main impact on acceleration uh, in this electrical vehicle then let me explain vehicle movement normally assume one vehicle is moving uh, climbing the hill with respect to reference the angle is assumed at alpha then this is the reference line so when the vehicle moves there is having a resistive force i'll be told you so this resistive force what will happen it will tries to retard its motion motion of the vehicle 
what are the resistive force first resistive force is rolling resistance second resistive force is aerodynamic drag second third one is uphill resistance so now according to the newton second law of motion for force is equal to mass into acceleration from this acceleration is equal to force divided uh, tractive force divided by mass so from this we can conclude that tractive effort ft is in a newton meter then mass is in kilogram so this is the normal uh, force acceleration force divided by mass so if the mass is more acceleration will reduce if the force is tractive force is more then only acceleration will be more so with this we can come to know what are all the forces which will assist the which will resist the uh, movement of the car is rolling resistance aerodynamic drag and uphill resistance then next one in electrical vehicle in a, in a vehicle system i already told you more all forces are acting together several forces are acting on it then resultant force will decide the motion according to the newton second law if the resistive force is more automatically vehicle, vehicle will move backward it will not move forward so with respect to the resultant the resultant force decide the motion then main motive force comes from the traction unit what is the traction unit the traction unit which will give the force to move the vehicle forward then another one gravity air tire resistance are the resistive force which are all the oppose which will oppose the flow of motion then acceleration is depends on the rating of the traction unit it will uh, decide the acceler i already told you traction unit force is less automatically acceleration is less so the rating of the traction unit is less force will be less therefore automatically acceleration will be less then mass of all component mass is very increasing means tractive force will be less if the tractive force mass it force is equal to m into a therefore m is equal to f by a uh, a is equal to f by m so if the mass is more or weight is more automatically acceleration will reduce so these are all the main uh, main parameters we have to consider in this electrical vehicle in the vehicle dynamics then in this in this case track what is mean we should understand what is mean by tractive effort what is mean by tractive effort the force which will propelling the vehicle to move forward transmitted to the ground through driving wheels so that that so that vehicle will move so tractive force is nothing but the force propelling the vehicle to move forward transmitted to the ground through the driving wheels it will be transmitted to the ground through the driving wheels that is called as tractive effort let me summarize once again this uh, tractive effort that tractive effort should accomplish it should overcome the rolling resistance it will overcome aerodynamic drag it should overcome the mass of the vehicle acting down to the down in the slope then it will provide acceleration of the vehicle if the speed is not at all constant we have to give it will provide the acceleration also constant speed no issue otherwise we have to for increasing and decreasing the speed this tractive force has effort has to give uh, effort should be there for changing the speed so these are all the main role of tractive effort so if then we will explain here this is velocity just this is i am showing how the car is moving when the slope how the tractive force will be have, will be effective it should go the allow the vehicle to move forward in the direction of velocity v then we have to be we have to be understand different rolling resi different resistive force of in this part of tractive effort first one is rolling resistance it depends on mainly upon the nature of the ground then tire used and the weight of the vehicle then air resistance wind resistance it is depends upon the size and the shape of the vehicle normally cases electric vehicle appropriate so in that normal cases and it will resist resistive force air force air resistance will increase 
approximately as the square of the speed of speed through the air square to the speed through the air already we have studied then wind turbine and all what will happen wind turbine and all power is directly proportional to omega cube optimum power from this torque is equal to um, directly proportional to omega square so torque is in newton meter so from this we can conclude that the resistive air air resistance is directly proportional to square of the speed of the air so same as the wind turbine only force torque is directly proportional to omega square then third one is gradient resistance it uh, it determine the steepness of the hill if the steepness is more automatically um, gradient resistance will also move so we have to overcome the tractive effect should overcome this gradient effect the hill and weight of the vehicle also gradient effect is depends the resistance is depends upon determined by the slope of the steep hill and the weight of the vehicle so with this i would like to conclude uh, today's lecture in the next lecture i am going to explain uh, we can we can understand different forces separately and uh, uh, we can analyze one by one so with this i want to conclude uh, today's uh, uh, today's presentation uh, i hope uh, you understood uh, the concept of different dynamics of electrical vehicle so three things rolling resistance grading uh, resistance then another one is aerodynamics so these are all the three resistance which will oppose the flow of electrical movement of electrical vehicle i hope uh, next uh, next within next couple of lecture we will come to know different uh, resistance effect uh, different uh, separately and with uh, different diagrams so i hope you understood today's lecture wish you all the best